The man you've got to kill is Luca Canali. A small time Milanese pimp. Luca Canale, have you got that? He used to be a runner for Don Vito Tresoldi. But when they decided he was too gentle for their tastes, they let him go. Now he has a crew of 10 or 12 hookers. Now, I want you to kill him in the most brutal way possible because I want it to be conspicuous, sensational. I want it to be the talk of Italy, not just Milan. I want everybody to know that two Americans came all the way from New York to look for him and that they tracked him down and ran him into the earth like a cockroach. That they went to Milan, took over like they were running the place and then disappeared. In other words, make it obvious that the job was commissioned by the New York bosses. There's your man, Luca Canali. She owes me 50,000 for my last three treats. Hey, Luca, it hey, looks like trouble. <laughs> she owes me 50 grand from last night. She don't want you around, so start running. She's got herself a brand new bag, man. You get it? You got the scene? Now get your ass out of here. Are you going to find a hole like this? Uh, when do you call it, huh? <laughs> What's the matter with you fellas? Well, uh, I'll be seeing you. feeling faint. Hey, Pinocchio. Why? Geneva on the line, sir. Ah, yes, thank you. Hello, yes? Au far. Oh, yes, tell me. Right. There's a private airport in Milan. There'll be an aeroplane waiting around the clock to fly into Switzerland. Once you've killed him. The last shipment of heroin, six million dollars worth, never got here. They grabbed it and pretended to send it off for Milan. <laughs> that was a big mistake. Yes, I was tipped off by Interpol. The same merchandise was sold. Sold, not confiscated. Which means that the man who took it is getting a little influential. And I want him stopped before he gets any bigger. You could, of course, force him to give himself away, if you can. It's not absolutely essential, because our information is exact. Still, I... I don't want him killed just anywhere. The opening at La Scala, perhaps. And then strung up by the heels in front of the Duomo. Something imaginative, spectacular. Of course, our friends in Milan don't realize they've got a snake in their company. And I, I didn't say a word to Ray Soldi. I'd prefer to leave that to you. Rizzoli may not like us coming from America to do a job in Milan. If he doesn't know how to control his people, we'll show him how. You will ask him for his cooperation, but you've got to get to him first. Because he's got to help you find Luca Canale. You mustn't do anything before you see Tre Soldi. You two pretty well fit the Italian idea of the American. So just a... Uh, just remember to be yourselves. Dress American, act American, drink a lot, leave big tips, and put your feet up on the table. That <laughs> drives the Italians crazy. Oh, yes, chew gum all the time. In other words, do your best to look like a couple of gangsters. That shouldn't be too hard, should it? <laughs> 